let's start our new tutorial about implementing stack using linked list this is also a kind of general questions mostly at a fresher level or at a one year experience this is being commonly asked in interview questions to implement a stack using linked list they generally ask to write on the paper or they provide the system to code on so basically what the main basically operation is being done is push and pop so basically when a stack is being made it is kind of contained suppose if you push operation is performed suppose i am using push to operate and 3 is being pushed in the stack the 3 goes to this part like at the bottom and the top becomes this and then if you push again new number maybe like 4 then 4 goes on the top of the 3 and in this way the top comes to the higher level that is it moves from 3 to 4 and again if you push 5 top will come to 5 and if you will do pop operation similarly the reverse process goes on 5 will be pop out and top goes to the one lower level and then again 4 will be popped out and 3 will be remain there so basically top will again come to 3 so how to implement these things in linked list let's go to coding and see how it works so let's start and see how to code and how to implement stack using linked list so i'm going to create a new java application a java project go to others java project let's name it as stack using no i don't want my perspective to change and in src let's create a package name stack Here I am going to so we to pro first provide node of linked list. We have already done this in our previous tutorial, so I am just copying that thing. Yes, let's see. We provided a node and made data and link to next node, and we provided a constructor to set these data and. Two strings method is there to enter the data, and let's generate setter and getter also for source. Generate setter and getter. Select all. Okay. So everything is fine now. We have implemented setter and getter for node data and to for link. We have added this thing. Now we have created our node. Now let's create a link list stack link list stack link list. I don't want main method. Finish. So basically, we are going to create a link list. Stack using link list. We will provide. Initially, we will provide two things. That is private int length. I'll tell you why how to use the length and where to use the length. Private node class. That is the node. And name it as top. Our top will work as a node, and provide constructor and just provide this. Make it as initially as the length. Node, make it as null. 
initially we don't have anything top is basically null so now we are creating push push operation how to create push operation so for creating push operation let's write code public void push because basically you are pushing the data in this now in the node class what you are pushing is integer in the node so here also we'll push integer in the node and in this push operation from push method we'll get the data and pass it to the link list and that is link to the link list so we'll write node class ns is equal to new link list new node sorry new node class and provide data that is as let it be data only because we are providing data and now set ns dot set next as top and top now becomes ns so basically our top has now become ns and meanwhile length i created initially to go to get the length of the stack or length of the link list which has been made as a stack so here the length will also increase length plus plus so we, we have provided a push operation now let's create pop operation public end because we will generate the pop pop out the integer part that is the data part and let's create throws empty stack exception and if one more thing let's create is empty or not public boolean has increased like here then it is not empty some data is there so there are some data so push it for further operations so in this case if it will come false then if it, it will come true then basically it is empty so is empty then throws exception that is throw new not this so close new section empty stack exception yes and now thr over this close empty stack exception now we'll have to print the result right and that will be result is equal to top dot get data we've got the data in the rest part and will what will return will be returned basically rest will be returned and top will be reduced to lower level so basically top will become top dot get next and length will be reduced because one data has been popped out and will return this why is it okay as here will be only through 
okay so we have made two operations push a data will be put and size will increase and pop it will put and size will be popped out so we and let's increment some more with that like public Size will basically return the size of the stack. That is, it um, length. That's how you have used length. In the starting only, it will give the size of the stack. And now, final method. Let's create public string to string method. And here, what we will do, we will generate a string to return the whole data. String str is equal to empty string initially. Then we'll create a node node class. Remember how we iterated the linked list in our previous tutorials. Ns is equal to top. That is earlier we had used head here. So in iteration, what we'll do? We will do while loop. While ns not equal to null, simply put str is equal to str plus ns dot to string plus. So we put here. It has this and finally return str. So if you will check, we have provided push operation here to push the data. In the linked list and pop operation which will throw the data from the top and our length will be reduced and size will tell the size of the stack and two string method will print the data in that in the stack so now, now let's create main method to see the how the operations work okay. I want main method here. Now let's create a stack. That is stack link list new stack link list. Now what we will do? We will just put the data in the stack. So First, print. First, print. Let me copy this. I need it more. I will need more than one time. Yeah. So I copy this in stack. Dot is empty. Stack dot size. will print size and now let's put some data in first run this let's see whether this is empty or not yes it is true that is it is empty and size is zero now let's put some data in here dot push let's put 10 stack dot push 20 stack dot push 30 so basically 
we are putting three data here. Now let's print out stack dot two string method, and let's see what happens. basically going in finite loop basically in two strings method I will have to do ms is equal to ms dot get next otherwise it will go in infinite loop now let's print this data run as java application c initially it was showing that list is empty as a true and then the size was zero but now when we put 10, 10 went at the bottom, then 20 came and 30 came at the top. Now what I will do, let's print size here, now what I will do, I will provide power operation. And and in this way, 30 will be thrown out of the stack and then again I will print this and again I will put a pop operation here let's see what happens are you using this extra line so that everything can be shown in single page. Yes, now no, it's okay. Clear the control. Run as the application. Yes. Now see. Initially, what we did. We put 10, 20 and 30 inside the stack and ask the stack to print everything. Then it put in the reverse order 10, 20 and 30. Because 30 was put at the last so it, it was thrown, thrown in the first. First in, last out. This is the basically for which it follows. So first in was this and last was this so it came out of this. And it is not empty. So false got printed and it's showing that it has size of the 3 that 10 20 30 and we provided a pop operation and 30 was thrown out and 20 remained there and 20 was there and 10 was there so it's printed false and it its size became 2 then 20 was thrown out again in pop operation and 10 remained there and finally false came and 1 was the size of this stack in this way we implemented the stack thanks for watching